I've just got a call from one of our Hitachi cooling and heating fitters who is in trouble. He's at a veterinary clinic. The 31 alarm has gone off and he needs our help as soon as possible. Hi, I'm Amy Smart and I'm here to help you solve code 31. Let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is locate the problem. Then we're gonna go over possible causes and then we'll get straight to the solutions. If alarm 31 has gone off, your device must be premium or comfort utopia, BRF or centrifugal BRF. Alarm 31 means that the outdoor unit capacity is incompatible with the total capacity of the indoor units installed. Capacities differ depending on the outdoor unit model. In the technical catalogs for Hitachi Systems, you will find the combinations and the capacities for each unit. Let's take a centrifugal VRF system as an example, but keep in mind the same process can be applied to other systems, obviously with their corresponding tables. So to make this clear, I'll explain how we calculate some figures for possible faults. Imagine we have a 4 HP centrifugal VRF. Indoor unit combinations allow us to install a minimum power of 75%. This means a 3 HP system. The maximum power we can install is 120%, which is a 4.8 HP system. With these maximum and minimum power levels, the 31 alarm will not go off. Ah, I like this part. Now let's imagine the same 4HP centrifugal VRF system. We install a 4HP indoor unit so as to get 100% performance. If we install a 2HP indoor unit, the system would perform at 50%. As you can see, this is not the required minimum 75% performance for the unit. So the alarm 31 would go off. And the same would happen if the system were oversized, for example, 8 HP, as we would go above 120% of maximum output. This can be checked by using the dip switch of the outdoor unit. You can see the power on the circuit board, so we have to verify that the power indicated by the dip switch is right for the outdoor unit. And then you can do the same for the indoor unit. If the alarm hasn't stopped after checking everything and you still haven't located the problem, you should contact the call center and ask them for help or have them send technical services. Okay, I hope this video has helped you solve your issue quickly and effectively and that this team of vets can continue their work in healing many animals. Remember, on our YouTube channel, you can find more videos with solutions to your problems. And of course, you're welcome to contact our call center. We're always here to help. Greetings to all you fellow fitters, and remember, be professional and enjoy your work.